feel like Zero Caliber is one of those VR games I knew about long before getting into VR. Like Zero Caliber, Pavlov, and Beat Saber all get shoved in your face even if the only thing you have to run those games on is a Game Boy SP. And I've owned Zero Caliber forever too. It's been festering in the deepest pits of my Steam library for over 8 months. Why did I ignore Zero Caliber for that long? I have no idea. But after playing it, I'm kind of bummed that I did. <laughs> I shot him into next week. Because Zero Caliber makes me laugh way too often. <laughs> I love it when they start the barrel roll. It's the funniest thing. From the very first second I got into Zero Caliber, I was already laughing. Okay, why is everyone in this helicopter? An absolute giga chat. They're standing a full head above me. And it just kept going from there. Some of the humor, yes, was on purpose. Some of it definitely wasn't. But overall, the game just tickles me. It really does, in a way that I don't think is intended. Guns are loaded with heavy rubber bullets. Be ready for some serious bruises. Ooh. Are you sure these bullets are rubber? For starters, Zero Caliber, all right, I'm saying Zero Caliber way too much. I need Zero Catheter is entirely campaign driven. It's mission driven. There is no Call of Duty style multiplayer. It's just missions against NPCs. And I don't think I've tortured anything more in my life than I have tortured these NPCs. Oh, his legs. They all have this fun little habit of Hollywood stunt show diving away from fire which makes it about 14 million times funnier if you shoot them in the middle of their epic escape. Stop! <laughs> oh, it's so good every time. And I also think it's so funny in part two because the gunplay is genuinely good. The shotgun especially feels like it's violating the Geneva Convention every time you shoot it. Oh my god. It's honestly... <laughs> it's honestly the best pump action of any VR game I've played. And I should mention, I am doing all of this in a bucket hat. I am the ultimate killing machine. Pause again. Here's the time code to resume the bucket hat slaughter. The worst part about doing this at this point is that people forget and new people come in. So they have no idea why I pause the video out of nowhere to belittle supporters who spend their hard-earned cash to support this content. And you know what? I'm not going to explain it. I'm just gonna start the shaming. Runa, Archer, Brady K, Fluffy Giggles and Cool Kid, It's a Hobbit, Spastic Ninja, David S, Kingster, Overlord Snow, Straight to Brazil, Ninja the Backwards, and then words that I can't read, Spastic Ninja Upside Down, Screw You Happy, Cryo 95, Scarecrow EXE, Fluffy Smooth Brain 2, The Little Dead Guy, which I really appreciate because I, I remember you did that while we were on stream live and thank you. But also, Hambun Urger did this live on stream. Hambun Urger has, you know what, I. No, I'm not gonna give it more airtime. I'm just. Stop it. Get some help. All of my squad members are one of two misters. They are either Mr. Clean or Mr. Worldwide. The difference is just if they're wearing sunglasses or not. I'm sure it's in the lore of Zebra Carpenter that all of the super soldiers are hairless, uh, but since I don't know the lore of this game, I'm just going to assume that private corporations rule the world now in anarcho in anarcho capitalism, and I am a member of the Procter and Gamble private military assigned to the Mr. Clean Squad. Hey, do any of you guys want to like help? Isn't that what you're here for? See, look at, oh, okay. I repeat, Mr. Clean is down. I repeat, Mr. Clean is down. So to recap, I'm Bucket Hat Man, inhumanely putting down a rebel army of Disney World cast members backed up by the Mr. Clean militia. <laughs> that guy got caught out in the open. He was not ready. Being a VR game from 2018, Zero Carburetor also has climbing for no reason. Really climbing here, huh? Which is fun. It's nothing earth shattering, but it's fun. And most importantly, it also has gun collision. So you can press buttons with your gun. You can post up on ledges with your gun. It's part of the reason why, again, the gunplay in this game does feel really good. 
Did, wait, did that work? As far as the campaign is concerned, I completely played all of the missions out of order. That's probably why my working hypothesis for this game's lore involves an army of Mr. Cleans. Guys, I found a, a strangely elongated laptop. But I still had fun, even without multiplayer and even playing the campaign completely out of order. Is that an enemy? That's gotta be an enemy, right? Yep, okay. <laughs> Other than that though, that's all I got. I hope I gave you a brief chuckle before bed or something to pass the time at the dentist's office, whatever you're up to. Uh, like this video if you feel like it, but love yourself at all times. And I will see you again, uh, mostly on the streams apparently. Uh, the Twitch channel just passed the second YouTube channel, so kinda spooky. Don't know why I said spooky. Okay, goodbye. Honestly, I don't know what I prefer. Whether I like a nice light cedar on my AK-47, or if I prefer a, a darker a cherry walnut, you know?